Hi boys and girls, I'm going to show you the different choices on your choice board today. Your choice board is different than the one that you did on Monday and Tuesday. So make sure that you look at the new choices. Okay, so the top row is the same. You're going to choose one of these songs. Um, there's a vowel sound workout, the alphabet song, and Jack Hartman's letter sounds. Then you're going, you're going to move to row two. Row two is, is totally different. Your first choice is to make a T chart. On one side, write, write words that have a short E sound. Remember, eh, eh, I can't hear you, eh. On the other side, write words that have a long E. E, E. Your next choice is to do the same thing, but with the A sound. So, A, apple, apple. So with A. And then your last choice is to practice writing sentences with your sight words in a notebook. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a T chart at the end of this video. So if you don't know how, don't worry about it. I'll show you once I finish the last row. And for your last row of choices, read a storybook, draw a portrait of the main character or, uh, of the main character or characters in the book. Read a storybook, draw a picture of the setting of the story. Read a storybook. Write at least one sentence telling me who the characters are and at least one sentence telling me the setting. Remember, you're going to choose one thing from each row. This should take five minutes. This should take 10 minutes. This should take 15 minutes. I'm going to show you how to make a T-chart now. Okay. To make a T-chart, you start with a blank piece of paper. If it has lines on it, that's okay. Um, just try to pay attention to the lines so that it's neat for you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a lowercase t, but you're going to make it really big to fill up the whole page. That's why it's called a t-chart. Notice how my line isn't perfectly straight that's okay, but there's about the same amount of room on both sides of the paper. If you have trouble doing that, you can fold your paper and press it down so that it makes a crease, and then you can just draw your line on the crease. Okay, now on, on each side, you're going to put a label. So, your first option is to make a T-chart with short E on one side and long E on the other. So on this side, I'm going to do short E. So at the top, I'm going to write short E. On the other side, I'm going to do long E. Now on each side, I'm going to write words or draw pictures of what would go in that side. So I know the word um, bed, b, ed, has a short e, e, b, ed. So I can either write bed or I can draw a picture of a bed. Either one is okay. B, ed bed. I want you to try to, to, to ugh, I got tongue cut, I'm sorry. I want you to try to put at least three things on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's how you make a T-chart. Um, I'll post a picture of this T-chart underneath your choice board. So if you need to see that, you can look back at it. Have a great day.